Hey guys, thought I'd do a small rabbit video. I have some babies and I know y'all love babies. Plus it's been a little bit since I've done one. Everything good here. Um, we're having a really mild beginning of the winter. So it's kind of weird. But besides that, let me show you the babies. Most of them are here. Um, this is uh, Zoe Jr. She's one of my red, broken red does. And she has a litter. But most of these aren't hers. Uh, some of them are hers. Four of them are hers. But I'll, I'll tell you what happened as I go. I mean, uh, as I get to the ones. Let me show you the babies first. Here is a cross mom I got just for Christmas. I got a good deal on her. And she did good. These are all her babies except for the runt underneath there. You can see his little head. Can't get my finger in there. Right there. But it's out of this mama here. She had a runt I put over here. Here's my first magpie. Not sure what that is yet, but I think that's what it is. This is uh, what I'm working towards right now is getting full-size New Zealands with good confirmation that are tries and harlequins. And I've done pretty good. I'll show you some of my, my ones that I've raised myself. But this is just a, a bigger size. I can tell she has New Zealand breeding, but she's nothing pure or nothing nice. But I'm breeding her to my pedigree red New Zealand to see what I can get. This litter had some. I think I'm going to keep the little try if it's a girl. My finger, I lost my finger again. Right there with the ears. If that turns out to be a um, female, I may keep it. Because if I breed it back to my big red bucks, I should get a pretty good selection. Um, this is my, most of these litters are already sold, are already gone, but um, I kept these two does back. It's a black harlequin and a chocolate tri. These are both does that I'm going to keep back, and they're doing real good. All right, let me close this back. Close your eyes for a second, that'll make you sick. All right, let's go to this side, this side here. This is a big black and white mom I got. I have two of these. I got them at several times in several places. But I'm breeding them to my reds too to see what I can get. And uh, she had a mixture of mixture. Okay, mama, move, 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 move. Move. She's a big pet. The other one's a little wild. She had some uh, black, some, I mean, some red, some red and white, some browns. She had no um, blacks. It was weird. Usually this type of rabbit, black and white, has lots of blacks. You better be glad you didn't get out a little bit. But they're at the popcorn stage, so everything just, they go crazy on everything. But she's a good doe, real good doe, actually. Um, and then we have Coco, which I've really liked her. I've had all her, her family from back, back when. Um, she is out of a red... A red, a pedigree red doe, and a friend's black and white New Zealand buck. Um, and these are not her babies either. Oh, if I can get on them. These are not her babies either. And I'll show you whose babies they are. Her babies, I messed up on a couple litters. Her, I messed up on her litter. I put a light on them, and I guess the light was too close or too hot. They all died, um, and I think it was my fault. Because um, I, tr I touched the heat after they died, and I think I had to go to class when I got back there. I think it was just too hot, so it was my fault. And then a couple does I forgot about. Um, I can't stress enough. When you breed them, write it down or put it in your phone. I put it in my phone on my calendar because you will forget something. Um, here is my only pedigreed red litter. This is my big mama flag. And she had four and one died. And then I gave her one. I gave her this uh, harlequin right here. And I, it's a New Zealand harlequin, but I'll show you uh, in a second who its parents are. This is one of my uh, Harley New Zealand does. I'll show you the mom of this one and the other one. And then the daddy is my uh, pedigreed red. So she is uh, all New Zealand, but half pedigreed. Uh, and her babies will be three quarter pedigreed. And um, I'm gonna keep this one if it's a little, if it's a little girl, because it's broken correctly. I might keep it if it's a boy too. And then one of her, um, I'm not sure where at. Right here. This one right here in the corner. If y'all wait a minute, let me I'm trying to do this one there has some black on its head. It has the, some of the uh the harlequin black on it. And so I may keep it since it's broken. I'll just play it by ear and see how they do. But they're doing great. Let me go into this stall next. I showed you all those. I'll show you I've gotten a new couple new bucks. This is one of my young Rex stoves that y'all remember. I had three of them. 
in a uh, pen together. This is one of them here. She's grown up to be a nice doe, and I'll breed her in a month or so. This is my older uh, Harley um, Mini Rex, which I mean older, but she's only like nine months old. This is what's left of her litter. She had seven, and most of them have sold. This is one of my only pure broken reds I have left, uh, pedigreed, and I'm going to breed it to a big red in a month or so when she's old enough. By weight, she's big enough, but I'm not in a bind to breed. I don't need babies right now, so I'm going to let her grow a little bit more. This is my Charlie uh, Mini Rex Doe uh, Try, and what's left of her litter. She had seven. She has three left. I think there's one grown two boys, and most of these will all be sold for Christmas. That's why I was trying to get a video for you all before it, um, Christmas gets here and they're all gone. Uh, this is one of my young. I raised this one, which is a Charlie... Uh, Charlie Tri, chocolate, uh, Charlie Black Tri Mini Rex, and this is a uh, Chocolate Tri Mini Rex, and then this other one, if I can turn without giving you a headache, this is the other one that was raised with them. There was three of them that I kept and raised. Um, they're doing great, uh, almost ready to breed, and then there's a few that I just purchased uh, to get some new blood. One of them is this Charlie uh, Black Ear Doe. She's a black. I'm going to breed her back to my Chocolate Tri. Um, her, not her sister, but the same place I got her is this broken black here that's breeding to the chocolate try right now. They're doing good. And that's my main chocolate try right now. And then these two little bucks, my mini rexes are too big. So I went with some smaller bucks and this is a six month old black mini rex, uh, great pelt. And he's going to be bred to all those tries you saw, except for the chocolate try. I'm going to breed her to this blue uh, mini rex buck he's a little bit bigger in frame but really nice and really good uh, quality um, and so to get some size down and then if i breed that chocolate try to this blue i should get um, blue tries uh, this is a little harley uh, new zealand buck that i'm keeping to see how he turns out his daddy is the pedigreed red his mom is this try right here from his previous litter. So I'm going to see what growth he gets. Um, let's go outside. <laughs> Here's some game hens I just purchased in a trade. Really love game hens. Uh, great mamas. Mean as dickens, but they will protect. I actually lost uh, my one of my only game hens from before this last uh, summer, a hawk. She had one chick, and I should have taken the chick off of her, but she was raising it good, and I still have it out there somewhere when I do a chicken video I'll show you it because I don't think it's in here right now but um she was raising it yeah he is but you can't see him good he's out he's out by that post but a, a hawk came down and was going to get the chick and she tore into that hawk um and of course the hawk killed her and I took care of the hawk but um her little baby made it but she sacrificed her life for the for the chick and that's these these game hens or something like that they they kind of like pit bulls they get a uh, bad rap, but unless you're fighting them, it sits not a problem. Uh, this is the only rooster I have, game rooster I have, and he'll be sold. I don't keep the roosters, uh, but he's real docile too. Uh, he's not a fighter, but really like the game hens uh, as brooders and uh, hatchers. Alrighty, I have these two fawn New Zealand does that I purchased. They're not the size that I'm really looking for, but they're still babies, so I'm hoping they grow into it. But aren't they beautiful in color? Um, and I'm going to be breeding these to my uh, Harley buck down here. I'll show you when they're a little older. It'll probably be two months. I'm going to let them get as much size as possible. Um, here's my big red buck. Uh, big red. He's pedigreed red New Zealand. Here is a young buck. Um, just keeping him in case something ever happens to big red. He's pure red. Um, because these other two, uh, this one here is um, a harlequin. You can see the black on his face. And so he's he's out of uh, my big red buck down there, and I'll show you his mom in a minute. And then this one is getting most of the breeding right now. This is my broken red. And so I'm breeding him to all those uh, Harlequin does because they're related to this one. So I'm breeding them to, them to see if I can pull in some tries or some broken some broken uh, Harley rabbits. But that that's the other broken red. Hey, girls. Don't go in the barn. Nope, don't go in the barn. Nope. Go on. Yep. Alrighty. Let's 
see if I can picture it's dark in the stall so um, this is another one of my uh, Harley new Harley New Zealand does that I've bred up um, I've done her for three generations this is their mama here and she's gorgeous she's 50-50 black and orange um, this is that other black and white doe and these are both bred here actually all three of these are this is the other black and white doe I got she's a little skittish but really good frame rabbit um, this is the last sister I have of the half mini rex half red New Zealand's uh, one died and one got sold and so she's bred back and doing great this is the last of my older mini rex does this is a chocolate um, and she's one of the ones that I messed up on and forgot to write down so she had her litter on the wire and died and, but that was my fault. I don't blame. I don't blame her. Now I had another one that was her sister that was right here, and um, I put a box in there with her, and she had hers on her wire, and they all died. So she is gone. Um, I don't mess around with that. But I forgot this doe here, and so this doe here had uh, ten babies on the wire, and I caught it. It wasn't cold, so one died uh, in the process of being born, and then the. The others were fostered to this mama. That's what all these are. Is that a, that one? And there's some weird, like, they're reds, but i got to figure out when they get older what they're going to be. And this one. And you can see the, the markings on it. Um, but she had a lot of white, and she had one little uh, magpie-looking one right here. Um so we will see what the future holds i'm going to keep these a little longer and see what they turn out to be but um but they were all good mamas uh the only problems i had was my fault not theirs and uh there's a little runt <laughs> it's a little bitty thing he is i guess he's younger than them by a couple of days but he should he's a new zealand they're a little small crossbreed rabbit so he should be bigger than them and he's tiny he's a little peanut but uh but they'll make it as long as they don't have too much competition. Well, I'll let y'all go. Oh, yeah, I showed y'all them. Um, I think that is everybody, guys. Y'all have a wonderful day and a Merry Christmas uh, ahead of time. But I'll try to do another video of everything before then. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.